What are these pups doing out here in the desert? What's up, guys? Not much lives in the desert. Usually it's very empty with little to eat or drink. So when Esteban, the dog rescuer, found out about a pack of stray dogs who were all alone in the California desert, he knew he had to get in his truck and check it out. Morning, guys. Let's see if they come up. The dogs were so nervous. They probably hadn't been around people in a long time. They didn't want to get anywhere close to him. Esteban counted 12 desert dogs. What were they doing out here? Esteban knew these pups didn't belong in the blistering heat. It was so hot out there, and there was nothing for them to eat. But in order to rescue them, Esteban had to first find a way to get these dogs to trust him. And what's the easiest way to get a dog to trust you? Food. Go in here, guys. Almost every one of them got closer to him. But it wasn't gonna be that easy. Because as soon as they finished eating, they ran away back into the desert. Esteban was determined to rescue these dogs, but it was gonna take some time. So he started coming back day after day after day. What's up, mamas? Where's your buddy? As Esteban went back and forth to visit these stray desert dogs, he noticed one pup was more curious than the others, Persephone. Oh and each day she would get closer and closer to Esteban. So they just came all the way out, way farther than they have ever come before. What's up, guys? You ready for some fooders? You ready for some fooders? You ready for some fooders? Esteban soon figured out that Persephone was the leader of the pack, and she always made sure to let the others know to follow Esteban. She was like, we have a delivery. They're following me. After months of patience and hard work, Esteban was able to get Persephone to eat out of his hand. But every time he tried to pet her, she would step away. It was like Persephone knew she wanted someone to pet her. Every dog does. But she still wasn't sure if she could trust him. She doesn't quite let me pet her yet, but that's OK. Esteban kept visiting the desert, and each time, his relationship with Persephone got stronger and stronger. That's a good girl. You almost want to let me pet you, huh? And then, it finally happened. Oh, I'm petting her. Oh my, oh my, this is amazing. I don't want to cry. Suddenly, Persephone couldn't get enough pets. She was loving it. After seven months of desert visits, Esteban had officially gained Persephone's trust. You guys have no idea. I seriously have tears in my eyes right now because her letting me pet her was amazing. And once he gained the leader of the pack's trust, the others came running. Next, it was time to get them out of the desert and into a proper home. But this rescue was still gonna be difficult. Just because the dogs liked Esteban didn't mean they were just gonna up and leave so easily. And these pups were a pack. They were gonna make sure no one got left behind. So Esteban had to think of a plan to safely rescue the desert dogs. He decided to construct a large box out of leftover fencing and place a big bowl of food inside. Then when the dogs came for the food, he could shut the door. I'm hopeful if that I put the food in there and walk away and they'll go eat. Fingers crossed. Esteban watched from afar as the desert dogs slowly entered the crate. And to his surprise, it worked! Esteban loaded up his truck with Persephone and the rest of the desert dogs and took the biggest sigh of relief. They were finally safe. Now it was time to find these pups a home away from the sweltering desert heat. Preferably somewhere much, much cooler but Esteban knew exactly where Persephone was going. Back to his comfy, cozy home. After all those visits, these two had a bond that couldn't be broken. Now she's a regular little lap dog who loves keeping cool indoors. As for Esteban, he's ready for his next rescue and he won't stop until every stray dog has a cozy, loving home of their own. Yeah. <laughs>
Kids. Help the kittens find the subscribe button.